Picture an older gentleman that comes walking to your office and is complaining of a unilateral headache, meaning a headache that is on one side of the head, in addition to some jaw pain. And he describes it as the headache as being throbbing, really painful, and lasting for hours. What do you think the diagnosis can possibly be? Now, before you're thinking, I'm sure you're thinking cluster headaches, migraines in general, I want you to imagine a different sort of diagnosis that you don't want to also miss. This diagnosis is temporal cell arteritis, otherwise known as giant cell arteritis. Now I've only seen this diagnosis once in clinical practice and the patient that I had taken care of was having the same cardinal symptom, it was having that headache, that jaw pain, and was also having issues with vision. Now, coincidentally, the neurologist, you know, wanted to narrow down possible diagnoses, but because of the visual issues, wanted to go ahead and order a temporal artery biopsy, which is the gold standard test when you're trying to rule out a giant cell arteritis. And of course, guys, we weren't going to go straight into this diagnosis because if you think about it, ordering a biopsy seems a little bit extreme. Can you imagine having to open up a patient's head, getting a tiny piece of that brain, and sending it to pathology? Not exactly something that you want to hear. So we had to rule out other stuff possible. Now, this patient was taking multiple medications. I'm talking abortive medications, preventive medications, because this patient has been having this headache for such a long time. And we knew it wasn't going to be a, a regular cluster headache, knew it wasn't going to be a typical migraine, because this patient has been already receiving treatment, has already seen different neurologists and specialists for it, but they couldn't figure out what was going on. So, so a different diagnosis had to be made, and this is one that we had to stumble upon. So we ordered the test. We went ahead and added additional tests such as a CRP, ESR, sedimation rate, because you noticely you're going to see an elevated level in those levels whenever you have this particular diagnosis. Now, what is the treatment plan per se? So the treatment plan is you want to get that patient to an ophthalmologist or a rheumatologist or ER stat. Second, first line treatment is ordering that gold standard temporal artery biopsy. And last but not least, ordering high dose steroids. And typically you're going to order prednisone about 40 to 60 milligrams by mouth daily. Once you get those steroids on board, you should see a decrease in the symptoms that the patient is having. And once you get that biopsy done, you'll be able to figure out whether or not your patient has the temporal cell arteritis. Now, why does this matter? Now, you may not see this diagnosis all the time, but this is just one of those diagnoses that you can't miss, especially if your patient is complaining of those following symptoms. So if you have a patient that goes to your office and is complaining of all these issues, you want to think in your head, you know, could this patient have temporal cell arteritis? And most importantly, if you miss this diagnosis, permanent blindness can occur, which seems to be the biggest complication possible. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this helps. This is just one of those random diagnoses that I end up stumbling upon while studying for my board exam. And I hope that this also, you know, helps you guys give you perspective in case you see it in future practice as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care.